Got a very interesting letter here I'm going to read. I'm going to keep the brother's name private. Um, he's been writing to us for a long time and uh, really has some really neat, insightful letters and things. Really appreciate him. Uh, he's uh, been around for a while. We've been hearing from him for a long time. And uh, this, I just thought this was really good. He brings up some really good points here. I had heard some of this. Some of it I didn't hear. Uh, just really, really neat. And another reason why I'm against television. Um, I mean, obviously, there's just read the Bible and it says abstain from all appearance of evil. Well, television has evil all over it, you know, and, and uh, it's not the same thing as like a YouTube or some kind of a deal like that where you choose what your which videos you're clicking on. With television, it's just it's coming through. OK, and yes, you can turn change a channel or whatever, but the commercials and things like that are coming out. So he has here tell lie vision. Very good uh, way to put it. We can use TV as a potent propaganda machine. The stage is set for the infusion of true satanic philosophy and potent, emotionally inspiring music to accompany the inverted crosses and pentagrams. Instead of holding our rituals in chambers designed for, few, for a few pe dozen people, we are moving into auditory, auditoriums crowded with ecstatic Satanists thrusting their fists forward in the sign of the horns. Anton LaVey, The Devil's Notebook, page 85. Anton LaVey, founder of the Church of Satan, if you don't know. And he's talking about the satanic salute there. Quotes again here, Anton LaVey, page 84 of the Satanic Bible. Listen to this. There are television sets in every home, every restaurant, every hotel room, every shopping mall now. They are even small enough to carry in your pocket, like electronic rosaries. Interesting that he would compare television to a rosary. This is in the Satanic Bible. It is unquestioned part of everyday life. Kneeling before the cathode, cathode ray god with our TV guide concordance in hand, we maintain the illusion of choice by flipping channels, chapters, and verses. It doesn't matter what is flashing on the screen. All that's important is that the TV stays on. How many people know, folks, that uh, just the television is on from the time they get up till the time they go to bed? I have seen that many, many times. These people just, that TV is on. They won't even be in the room sometimes, and the stupid TV is on. It just has to be on all the time. There's a spirit attached to that thing. I'm telling you. It is worship for people. And ironic, because Revelation chapter 13, the King James Bible, um, talking about the... Uh, Revelation 13, verse 11, false prophet. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Now let me ask you a question right there real quickly. How could they understand about the first, be the first beast being wounded in the head and then being healed if they, didn't, if they couldn't find out through television? world news and stuff like this. Television is definitely a part of the end time scenario. Verse 13, And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, image, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. I think television is going to play a big role in that. I can't say that television per se is going to be the image. There could be holographic images. I understand that. They're coming out with this new weird technology all the time. But television is definitely going to play a part in it. And... Uh, Finally, here he has again The Devil's Notebook, page 86 by Anton LaVey. Another quote. Many of you have already read my writings identifying TV as the new God, lowercase g, God. There is a little thing I neglected to mention up until now. Television is the major mainstream infiltration of the new satanic religion. You're not right with God if you're watching television and you profess to be a Christian. You're not right with God. I didn't say you're not saved. All right, you might be saved. 
You can be saved and not right with God. Okay? Your fellowship. All right, you can have a marriage and not have a good fellowship there with your wife or your husband, whichever you are. All right? So don't go out of here saying that uh, I teach that you have to throw out your TV in order to be saved or something. No, no, no. You throw out your television because you are saved. You cannot have good fellowship with the Lord if you're watching television. You can't do it. Television is satanic. The music is satanic. There's satanic programs on there all the time. You know, program. You say, well, I just watch it for the news. You think that they're telling you the truth? Fox News, owned by papal knight Rupert Murdoch, with Sean Hannity, the Catholic, and Bill O'Reilly, the Catholic, and all these other Catholics, they're going to tell you the truth, are they? Well, I watch it for game shows. Why? So you can peop watch people uh, worship mammon, the god of money. There's no excuse. You know, years ago I got saved, and uh, I was a TV head at the time. I just watched it all the time. And as soon as I got saved, it was just like, I don't enjoy watching this anymore. I don't, you know, it's weird because before I got saved, I didn't really pick up on a lot of the profanity and I didn't pick up on the obvious blasphemies against the Lord. And as soon as I got saved, I started to see the little attacks against Jesus Christ over and over and over and over again. And you have one, you know, these satanic shows like uh, Family Guy or The Simpsons, and they are openly, openly attacking Jesus Christ and Bible believing Christians, openly mocking them. But you can watch that and just say, oh, it's just entertainment. You're not right with God. You better get rid of the television.